but I wanted to talk about Android. There's a big discrepancy here on Android. For some reason, a lot of people keep saying, and I don't know why I keep hearing this, that Android is not open source. And usually they give the reason because Google Apps aren't open source, which seems kind of ridiculous. It's kind of like saying that Linux is not open source because Chrome is not. That's about the cool one right there. Or Skype, or any other proprietary, Steam. Linux is not open source because Steam is not open source. It's the same as saying Android is not open source because Google apps are not open source. Check it out. You can actually use a phone quite well without Google apps. Uh, there's a lot you can do. In fact, um, if you look at what Amazon has done, they've embraced that whole we don't need Google apps thing perfectly. They have their own launcher. They have their own applications. But even the open source built-in applications are pretty good. Have you seen Mail? Have you seen the Mail app? It looks exactly like the Gmail app, only no branding, and it works with all these different services. It's a regular fucking IMAP tool, you know? Speaking of Nexus, I just want to pull this out of the case real quick, let you know. My fucking bright, ridiculously red Nexus phone is still kicking so much ass. This thing is literally the best the best phone I've ever had. Hands down. It is fucking amazing. I got a case for it. Paid way too much for that case, but I did not not want to have a case. Plus, you know, had to show off the translucency. So, there's that. But yes, Android is open source. Amazon has proved Android is open source. It's a it's a flavor of Linux in some sorts. It's you know it's got the Linux kernel in it. It's pretty fucking open source. It is more open source um, than OS X. OS X is built off of I think BSD or one of the Unix systems, and they lock that fucker down. But that the, the underlying system Darwin is also open source. But Android is a complete fucking system from head to head. The fucking the, the launcher, the fucking application icons, the themes, like all that shit, all the the built-in apps, the non-Google branded ones are built in and they're fucking amazing. The calendar app does everything that the Google Calendar app does with a few like little G Gmail specific plugins or something like that. But I've used both of them on my well not my Nexus Five but my Nexus Four running KitKat and uh, yeah. I mean, if you have a device that runs a third-party ROM like uh, CyanogenMod, Mod, go ahead. Go without, even if it's just like like a day or so. Go without your uh, your Gmail, uh, your G, uh, your Google Apps, and you should be able to do everything. I mean, there's open source alternatives for a map. It's not as good as Maps because, let's face it. Google Maps is kind of kicking the competition, but it'll grab your GPS location and tell you where you are and tell you where to get places. It'll still do that. You could use, uh, I believe there's several versions of uh, Android versions of OpenStreetMaps. I don't know if you've ever used OpenStreetMaps. The project is really good. It doesn't have all the integration that Google Maps does, obviously, because it's not nearly as big, but still a damn good application, good website, all that kind of stuff. Oh, that's another thing. You can use Google or Bing or any of those in the, the fucking web browser. Like let's say I'll do maps.bing.com. That's right kids, you won't get screwgled. <laughs> look at that, look at that. Yeah, ping my location. Allow. Boom. That's uh, oh, you can't see that. You can't see that at all. I assure you it works fantastic. Let's take a screenshot right now. So you can see the screenshot. It works perfectly. Screenshot will be on that side. Yeah. But yeah. Flawless. Fucking flawless. So, Android. Open source. Peace.